The shield are back! And you can pretend that's not true, but it definitely is true because we saw it happen with our own eyes and nostalgia is always great and between you and me, I actually think those three together are a lot better than when they just go out there alone. But that's just my thoughts. However, let's not pretend otherwise. As well as filling this end of year WWE role where we do always have to bring somebody back, the whole reason the shield exists once more is to try and help Roman Reigns. But it's not going to help Roman Reigns because of course it isn't. Why? Here's why. Now I like Roman Reigns and while I don't think he's ever actually going to truly light up the wrestling world like WWE want him to, I think he's awesome in the ring and I think over the last few months he's got his character down as well. Or if nothing else, it's a lot better than suffering succotash. We haven't had anything like that for a little while. However, if anyone in the back truly thinks he's going to transform him into the be all and end all of WWE, well you're just kidding yourself. Look what happened on Raw. When the Shield music played, because it now was the Shield music and not the Roman Reigns music, people booed. That's what they expect to do. You hear that music, you boo, and they just boo because of Roman Reigns. Now that is one of the big faux pas that WWE made when they did first break up the Shield, because imagine they had given Roman different music and now we were hearing that music again. But well, I was going to say it's beside the point, but that's not beside the point. That's the whole point. It's all the mistakes that WWE made with Roman Reigns. It's just built into people's brains. It happened later on too when Ambrose popped up and cut a promo and got cheered. Rollins did the same and got cheered. And then Roman came on screen, did his promo, he got booed. That's just what Raw is these days. It's going to happen on a Monday. You're going to have some kind of entrances from big muscly dudes and Roman Reigns is going to get heckled. Obviously in time, this will slowly start to change as people remember that the Shield are back and those warm fuzzy feelings arise once more and at least for a little while, people will probably give him a break. Everyone loves this trio and it reminds them of the old times. But here's the thing. Did it help Roman first time around? No. No, it did not. So when this comes to the end of its shelf life and Roman goes back to being Roman, the same thing is going to happen unless, yes, finally, we do change Reigns' music, we do change his attire, and we try and make him feel a bit separate and a bit new. After all, that's one of the reasons people got pissed off in the first place, because Roman was given all the good shield shears and Ambrose and Rollins had to start anew. That was the point. And let's say we do get six months out of this max and we roll into WrestleMania season, you know what's going to happen. It is going to be Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. And there is no way this time around WWE can't pull the trigger there. They have to decide that, yes, Roman is the guy to finally vanquish Lesnar once and for all. And that means this is our big coronation. And let's not pretend that's going to make any difference. Of course it's not. Roman is going to get booed out of the building again. The people that were sick of him before are still going to be sick of him then. No one is going to go, oh, wait, I've just remembered that Roman had that awesome run at the end of 2017 with The Shield. I'll cheer him this time. And if this is what you're doing, if this is the story you're trying to tell, you're just sticking a plaster over a gaping wound when that thing needs to go into surgery. And don't get me wrong, I don't want people to not enjoy this or go out there with their flags and say it's a mistake because it's not. In modern day wrestling, the idea of long-term booking has been thrown out the window. So you may as well enjoy it from day to day. And right now, yes, we've got the shield and it's awesome. So we should just sit back with smiles on our faces. But there are a lot of elements that WWE does need to fix and you can't keep papering over the cracks. We said before on an older Why episode that look at Goldberg. Goldberg came back at the end of 2016 and it was great and it did help ratings, but a year on, those people didn't stay around. They tuned in for Bill, Bill left, they left too. This is why in a dream scenario, Vince McMahon would just feel the chemistry that Rollins, Ambrose and Reigns have and keep them together regardless. They can go off and do their own separate things and be individuals, but deep down, they're always the shield because I actually think that helps. There's just something there. And if there's something there, don't get rid of it. Use it somehow. Make them a bit like the New Day. You do it with the New Day. Why can't you do it here? What's the difference? I imagine this does end when Ambrose turns heel on Rollins. And that is pretty cool because then we get that feud again. But the roles have been reversed and you've got a whole new Shield breakup storyline. But where does that leave Roman? You know where it leaves Roman. In the same position he had before the Shield came back. And then old habits die hard. And when old habits die hard you know the end result. And I could be wrong, and I really hope I am, because seeing Roman cheered on Raw was actually awesome. You never, ever, ever get the face of the company, or at least who WWE want to be the face of the company, getting a positive reaction anymore, because we didn't have it with Cena, and we're not getting it with Roman, so when all the boxes are ticked, it's actually quite fun, because it feels quite unique, and it feels quite special. I'm desperate to see it at the moment, so if this is how I get it, 
fine, I'll ride that train into the station, then get off and then be like, man, where do I go next? Because WWE don't know, so how am I the fans supposed to know? I got no clue. But I don't think this is the answer long term, and no, I don't think it's going to help Roman Reigns unless this actually ends with Roman Reigns going heel, breaking up the shield, and finally embracing the dark side. But that's not going to happen, because why would it happen now? We've been asking for that for, what, two years? Maybe two years when he was at the Royal Rumble and The Rock came out, and even The Rock was like, whoa, what am I doing? They're not going to do it now. They're too invested, and that's cool, WWE. You do you, but eventually... You really gotta smell the roses. Now don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you think about Roman Reigns and The Shield. Like, share and subscribe. Make sure you head on over to whatculture.com and read some articles. And then go on Twitter, find What Culture or What Culture WWE. Give them a nice little follow. My name is Simon from What Culture. This was the Y series. A salute for you. I'm off to eat chicken. I I am. I am. I am. Defiant. I am. I am. Defiant. I am. 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 Defiant. 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 I am. I am. I am defiant. I am defiant. I am the villain. We are defiant.